Pheromone, Wikipedia article audio. A pheromone is a secreted or excreted chemical factor that triggers a social response in members of the same species. Pheromones are chemicals capable of acting like hormones outside the body of the secreting individual, to impact the behavior of the receiving individuals. There are alarm pheromones, food trail pheromones, sex pheromones, and many others that affect behavior or physiology. Pheromones are used from basic unicellular prokaryotes to complex multicellular eukaryotes. Their use among insects has been particularly well documented. In addition, some vertebrates, plants, and ciliates communicate by using pheromones. Background The portmanteau word pheromone was coined by Peter Carlson and Martin Lusher in 1959, based on the Greek fe, feru and hormone. Pheromones are also sometimes classified as ectohormones. They were researched earlier by various scientists, including Jean-Henri Fabre, Joseph A. Lintner, Adolf Boutinant, and ethologist Carl von Frisch who called them various names, like for instance alarm substances. These chemical messengers are transported outside of the body and affect neurocircuits, including the autonomous nervous system with hormone or cytokine-mediated physiological changes, inflammatory signaling, immune system changes and slash or behavioral change in the recipient. They proposed the term to describe chemical signals from conspecifics that elicit innate behaviors soon after the German biochemist Adolf Boutinant had characterized the first such chemical, bombicol, a chemically well-characterized pheromone released by the female silkworm to attract mates. There are physical limits on the practical size of organisms employing pheromones, because at small sizes pheromone diffuses away from the source organism faster than it can be produced, and a sensible concentration accumulates too slowly to be useful. For this reason, Bacteria are too small to use pheromones as sex attractants on an individual basis. However, they do use them to determine the local population density of similar organisms and control behaviors that take more time to execute. In similar manner, the simple animals rotifers are, it appears, also too small for females to lay down a useful trail but in the slightly larger copepods the female leaves a trail that the male can follow. Limits Aggregation pheromones function in mate selection, overcoming host resistance by mass attack, and defense against predators. A group of individuals at one location is referred to as an aggregation, whether consisting of one sex or both sexes. Male-produced sex attractants have been called aggregation pheromones, because they usually result in the arrival of both sexes at a calling site and increase the density of conspecifics surrounding the pheromone source. Most sex pheromones are produced by the females, only a small percentage of sex attractants are produced by males. Aggregation pheromones have been found in members of the Coleoptera, Diptera, Hemiptera, Dictyoptera, and Orthoptera. In recent decades, the importance of applying aggregation pheromones in the management of the boll weevil, stored product weevils, Cytophilus granarius, Cytophilus oryzae, and pea and bean weevil has been demonstrated. Aggregation pheromones are among the most ecologically selective pest suppression methods. They are non-toxic and effective at very low concentrations. Types Some species release a volatile substance when attacked by a predator that can trigger flight or aggression in members of the same species. For example, Vespula squamosa use alarm pheromones to alert others to a threat. In polyestes exclamans, 
alarm pheromones are also used as an alert to incoming predators. Pheromones also exist in plants, certain plants emit alarm pheromones when grazed upon, resulting in tannin production in neighboring plants. These tannins make the plants less appetizing for the herbivore. Aggregation Epidictic pheromones are different from territory pheromones, when it comes to insects. Fabre observed and noted how females who lay their eggs in these fruits deposit these mysterious substances in the vicinity of their clutch to signal to other females of the same species they should clutch elsewhere. Alarm Releaser pheromones are pheromones that cause an alteration in the behavior of the recipient. For example, some organisms use powerful attractant molecules to attract mates from a distance of 2 miles or more. In general, this type of pheromone elicits a rapid response, but is quickly degraded. In contrast, a primer pheromone has a slower onset and a longer duration. For example, rabbit release mammary pheromones that trigger immediate nursing behavior by their babies. Epidictic Signal pheromones cause short-term changes, such as the neurotransmitter release that activates a response. For instance, GnRH molecule functions as a neurotransmitter in rats to elicit lordosis behavior. Primer pheromones trigger a change of developmental events. Releaser Signal Primer Territorial Laid down in the environment, territorial pheromones mark the boundaries and identity of an organism's territory. In cats and dogs, these hormones are present in the urine, which they deposit on landmarks serving to mark the perimeter of the claimed territory. In social seabirds, the preen gland is used to mark nests, nuptial gifts, and territory boundaries with behavior formerly described as displacement activity. Social insects commonly use trail pheromones. For example, Ants mark their paths with pheromones consisting of volatile hydrocarbons. Certain ants lay down an initial trail of pheromones as they return to the nest with food. This trail attracts other ants and serves as a guide. As long as the food source remains available, visiting ants will continuously renew the pheromone trail. The pheromone requires continuous renewal because it evaporates quickly. When the food supply begins to dwindle, the trail making ceases. In at least one species of ant, trails that no longer lead to food are also marked with a repellent pheromone. The Isidon burchellii species provides an example of using pheromones to mark and maintain foraging paths. When species of wasps such as Polybia sericea found new nests, they use pheromones to lead the rest of the colony to the new nesting site. Gregarious caterpillars, such as the forest tent caterpillar, lay down pheromone trails that are used to achieve group movement. In animals, sex pheromones indicate the availability of the female for breeding. Male animals may also emit pheromones that convey information about their species and genotype. At the microscopic level, a number of bacterial species release specific chemicals into the surrounding media to induce the competent state in neighboring bacteria. Competence is a physiological state that allows bacterial cells to take up DNA from other cells and incorporate this DNA into their own genome, a sexual process called transformation. Among eukaryotic microorganisms, Pheromones promote sexual interaction in numerous species. These species include the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the filamentous fungi Neurospora crassa and Mucor musto, the water mold Aclia ambisexualis, the aquatic fungus Allomyx macrogenus, 
the slime mold Dictyostelium discoidium, the ciliate protozoan Blepharisma japonicum and the multicellular green algae Volvox carteri. In addition, male copepods can follow a three-dimensional pheromone trail left by a swimming female, and male gametes of many animals use a pheromone to help find a female gamete for fertilization. Many if not all insect species, such as the ant Leptothorax acervarum, the moths Helicoverpazia and Agrotus ypsilon, the bee Xylocopa veripuncta and the butterfly Edith's checker spot release sex pheromones to attract a mate, and many Lepidopterans can detect a potential mate from as far away as 10 kilometers. Some insects, such as ghost moths, use pheromones during lek mating. Traps containing pheromones are used by farmers to detect and monitor insect populations in orchards. In addition, Colia's urethheme butterflies release pheromones, an olfactory cue important for mate selection. The effect of Hertz 2V virus infection on the reproductive physiology and behavior of female Helicoverpazia moths is that in the absence of males they exhibited calling behavior and called as often but for shorter periods on average than control females. Even after these contacts virus infected females made many frequent contacts with males and continued to call they were found to produce five to seven times more pheromone and attracted twice as many males as did control females in flight tunnel experiments. Pheromones are also utilized by bee and wasp species. Some pheromones can be used to suppress the sexual behavior of other individuals allowing for a reproductive monopoly the wasp R. marginata uses this. With regard to the Bombus hyperboreus species, males, otherwise known as drones, patrol circuits of scent marks to find queens. In paraticular, pheromones for the Bombus hyperboreus, include octadesnol, 2,3-dihydro-6-transfarnesol, citronellol, and geranyl citronellol. Nasonopheromones, royal pheromones, calming pheromones, necromones, given off by a deceased and decomposing organism, consisting of oleic and linoleic acids, they allow crustaceans and hexapods to identify the presence of dead conspecifics. Pheromones are also used in the detection of estrus and sows. Boar pheromones are sprayed into the sty, and those sows that exhibit sexual arousal are known to be currently available for breeding. Sea urchins release pheromones into the surrounding water, sending a chemical message that triggers other urchins in the colony to eject their sex cells simultaneously. This classification, based on the effects on behavior, remains artificial. Pheromones fill many additional functions. Olfactory processing of chemical signals like pheromones has evolved in all animal phyla and thus is the oldest phylogenetic receptive system shared by all organisms including bacteria. It has been suggested that it serves survival by generating appropriate behavioral responses to the signals of threat, sex, and dominance status among members of the same species. Furthermore, it has been suggested that in the evolution of unicellular prokaryotes to multicellular eukaryotes, primordial pheromone signaling between individuals may have evolved to paracrine and endocrine signaling within individual organisms. Some authors assume that approach avoidance reactions in animals, elicited by chemical cues, form the phylogenetic basis for the experience of emotions in humans. The human trace amine-associated receptors are a group of 6G protein-coupled receptors that with exception for TAAR1 are expressed in the human olfactory epithelium. In humans and other animals, TAARs in the olfactory epithelium function as olfactory receptors that detect volatile amine odorants, including certain pheromones 
these TAARs putatively function as a class of pheromone receptors involved in the detection of social cues. A review of studies involving non-human animals indicated that TAARs in the olfactory epithelium can mediate attractive or aversive behavioral responses to an agonist. This review also noted that the behavioral response evoked by a TAAR can vary across species. In reptiles, amphibia, and non-primate mammals pheromones are detected by regular olfactory membranes, and also by the vomeronasal organ, or Jacobson's organ, which lies at the base of the nasal septum between the nose and mouth and is the first stage of the accessory olfactory system. While the VNO is present in most amphibia, reptiles, and non-primate mammals, it is absent in birds, adult catarrhine monkeys, and apes. An active role for the human VNO in the detection of pheromones is disputed, while it is clearly present in the fetus it appears to be atrophied, shrunk, or completely absent in adults. Three distinct families of vomeronasal receptors putatively pheromone sensing, have been identified in the vomeronasal organ named V1RS, V2RS, and V3RS. All are G-protein coupled receptors but are only distantly related to the receptors of the main olfactory system, highlighting their different role. Pheromones of certain pest insect species, such as the Japanese beetle, acrobat ant, and the gypsy moth, can be used to trap the respective insect for monitoring purposes, to control the population by creating confusion, to disrupt mating, and to prevent further egg laying. Mice can distinguish close relatives from more distantly related individuals on the basis of scent signals, which enables them to avoid mating with close relatives and minimizes deleterious inbreeding. Jimenez et al. showed that inbred mice had significantly reduced survival when they were reintroduced into a natural habitat. In addition to mice, two species of bumblebee, in particular Bombus bifarius and Bombus frigidus, have been observed to use pheromones as a means of kin recognition to avoid inbreeding. For example, B. Bifarious males display patrolling behavior in which they mark specific paths outside their nests with pheromones and subsequently patrol these paths. Unrelated reproductive females are attracted to the pheromones deposited by males on these paths, and males that encounter these females while patrolling can mate with them. Interestingly, other bees of the Bombus species are found to emit pheromones as precopulatory signals, such as Bombus lapidarius. While humans are highly dependent upon visual cues, when in close proximity smells also play a role in sociosexual behaviors. An inherent difficulty in studying human pheromones is the need for cleanliness and odorlessness in human participants. Experiments have focused on three classes of putative human pheromones, axillary steroids, vaginal aliphatic acids, and stimulators of the vomeronasal organ. Axillary steroids are produced by the testes, ovaries, apocrine glands, and adrenal glands. These chemicals are not biologically active until puberty when sex steroids influence their activity. The change in activity during puberty suggests that humans may communicate through odors. Several axillary steroids have been described as potential human pheromones, androstadienol, androstadienone, androstenol, androstenone, and androsterone. Further evidence of a role for pheromones in sociosexual behavior comes from two double-blind, placebo-controlled experiments. The first from 1998, by Cutler, had 38 male volunteers apply either a male pheromone or control odor and record six different sociosexual behaviors over two weeks. This study found an increase in sexual behavior in the pheromone users compared to the control group. 
The study 2002 by McCoy and Patino was similar, except that participants were women, not men. Females treated with female pheromone reported significant increases in many of the behaviors including sexual intercourse, sleeping next to a partner, formal dates, and petting-slash-affection-slash-kissing. The researchers believed that pheromones had a positive sexual attractant effect. The third study was performed on 44 postmenopausal women and was published in 2004 by Rocco and Freebly in the Journal of Sex Research. The study confirmed the previous results for reproductive aged women for the two subjective behaviors studied. Weekly averages of informal dating and male approaches were not significantly increased for pheromone users. The study found among postmenopausal women, a significantly greater proportion of those using pheromone than those using placebo showed an increase over their own baseline in intimate sociosexual behaviors. A class of aliphatic acids was found in female rhesus monkeys that produced six types in the vaginal fluids. The combination of these acids is referred to as copulins. One of the acids, acetic acid, was found in all of the sampled females' vaginal fluid. Even in humans one-third of women have all six types of copulins, which increase in quantity before ovulation. Copulins are used to signal ovulation, however, as human ovulation is concealed it is thought that they may be used for reasons other than sexual communication. The human vomeronasal organ has epithelia that may be able to serve as a chemical sensory organ, however, the genes that encode the VNO receptors are non-functional pseudogens in humans. Also, while there are sensory neurons in the human VNO there seem to be no connections between the VNO and the central nervous system. The associated olfactory bulb is present in the fetus, but regresses and vanishes in the adult brain. There have been some reports that the human VNO does function, but only responds to hormones in a sex-specific manner. There also have been pheromone receptor genes found in olfactory mucosa. Unfortunately, there have been no experiments that compare people lacking the VNO, and people that have it. It is disputed on whether the chemicals are reaching the brain through the VNO or other tissues. Trail In 2006, it was shown that a second mouse receptor subclass is found in the olfactory epithelium. Called the trace amine-associated receptors, some are activated by volatile amines found in mouse urine, including one putative mouse pheromone. Orthologous receptors exist in humans providing, the authors propose, evidence for a mechanism of human pheromone detection. Although there are disputes about the mechanisms by which pheromones function, there is evidence that pheromones do affect humans. Despite this evidence, it has not been conclusively shown that humans have functional pheromones. Those experiments suggesting that certain pheromones have a positive effect on humans are countered by others indicating they have no effect whatsoever. A possible theory being studied now is that these axillary odors are being used to provide information about the immune system. Mylinsky and colleagues found that the artificial odors that people chose are determined in part by their major histocompatibility complexes combination. Information about an individual's immune system could be used as a way of sexual selection so that the female could obtain good genes for her offspring. Klaus Wedekind and colleagues found that both men and women prefer the axillary odors of people whose MHC is different from their own. Some body spray advertisers claim that their products contain human sexual pheromones that act as an aphrodisiac. Despite these claims, no pheromonal substance has ever been demonstrated to directly influence human behavior in a peer-reviewed study. 
Thus, the role of pheromones in human behavior remains speculative and controversial. Sex Other Evolution Androstenol is the putative female pheromone. In a 1978 study by Kirk Smith, people wearing surgical masks treated with androstenol or untreated were shown pictures of people, animals, and buildings and asked to rate the pictures on attractiveness. Individuals with their masks treated with androstenol rated their photographs as being warmer and more friendly. The best-known case study involves the synchronization of menstrual cycles among women based on unconscious odor cues, the McClintock effect, named after the primary investigator, Martha McClintock, of the University of Chicago. A group of women were exposed to a whiff of perspiration from other women. Depending on the time in the month the sweat was collected there was an association with the recipient woman's menstrual cycle to speed up or slow down. The 1971 study proposed two types of pheromone involved, one, produced prior to ovulation, shortens the ovarian cycle, and the second, produced just at ovulation, lengthens the cycle. However. Recent studies and reviews of the methodology have called the validity of her results into question. Androstenone is postulated to be secreted only by males as an attractant for women, and thought to be a positive effector for their mood. It seems to have different effects on women, depending on where a female is in her menstrual cycle, with the highest sensitivity to it during ovulation. In 1983, Study participants exposed to androstenone were shown to undergo changes in skin conductance. Androstenone has been found to be perceived as more pleasant to women at a woman's time of ovulation. Androstadienone seems to affect the limbic system and causes a positive reaction in women, improving mood. Responses to androstadienone depend on the individual and the environment they are in. Androstadienone negatively influences the perception of pain in women. Women tend to react positively after androstadienone presentation, while men react more negatively. In an experiment by Hummer and McClintock, androstadienone, or a control odor was put on the upper lips of 50 males and females and they were tested for four effects of the pheromone one automatic attention towards positive and negative facial expressions, two the strength of cognitive and emotional information as distractors in a simple reaction time task, three relative attention to social and non-social stimuli, and four mood and attentiveness in the absence of social interaction. Those treated with androstadienone drew more attention to towards emotional facial expressions and emotional words but no increased attention to neutral faces. These data suggest that androstadienone may increase attention to emotional information causing the individual to feel more focused. It is thought that androstadienone modulates on how the mind attends and processes information. Pheromone Receptors in the olfactory epithelium. In the vomeronasal organ. Uses. Non-human animals. Pheromone trapping. Avoidance of inbreeding. Humans. Axillary steroids. Vaginal aliphatic acids. Stimulators of the vomeronasal organ.